For more than 40 years, they have been wowing audiences around the world with their blend of tricks and humor. And occasionally, they even pull back the curtain, revealing the secrets behind the magic. We take the ball, we place it in our hand, we vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. Never let the audience see your secret preparation. They must not know what is hidden in which pocket. Well, we want to take a bit of a break from the big news stories of the day, the serious news stories of the day, to introduce you to these gentlemen, Penn and Teller. Thank you very much for dropping by. The non-serious news story of the day. You know what's interesting is, before the camera started to roll, you were saying a thing. You were talking up a storm. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it usually is. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you're not mic'd because part of your shtick is once the camera rolls, we don't hear from you. That's, that's correct. correct. Yeah. So... Uh, I'm curious, you know, you're, you guys are so recognizable, you've been stars for so long. When you showed up at Canada Customs last night, I guess, what kind of reaction do you get? Oh, they were, uh, they were very nice to me. I, you, you go through okay? You, we crossed the border without incident. Uh, uh, Trump hasn't got the wall in place yet, so we, we moved across fairly easily. And what do you tell them your job is when they say, what uh, do you do? Well, they, they said, aren't you the guy in Penn and Teller? So they kind of knew. Uh -huh. I said I was coming up to, uh, to do a show at the... Uh, at the casino, the, yeah. At the casino, and yeah. they uh, they said, sure. It was actually fairly easy. Although they did follow all the rules. They checked the passport. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but it, it, went, it went through fairly easily. And tomorrow you're back in Vegas. You know, mm -hmm. looking at your guys' schedule, you've been in the in this business for, what, 40 years? We've been working together for 41 years. And up on all you. you do is do shows. What keeps yeah. you motivated? Well, we, we like doing shows. I mean, when we when we were, uh, we didn't know each other then, but when we were, uh, we were children, you know, all I wanted to do in life was to think up ideas and do them for people. And uh, and then when I uh, first started working with Teller, all we wanted to do was think up ideas together. We've been doing that. We, we are uh, one of those uh, rare groups in show business that actually are more successful than we had planned. Our business plan was to do weird little shows for a couple hundred people, and it turns out we were... We we're off by an order of magnitude in the right directions. We've been we're more successful than we deserve, and we're thrilled about that. Before we got to this segment, we we showed the you guys doing the cup and ball, uh, yeah, uh, you know, shtick, um, and using the transparent cups because I guess part of what you do is expose the magic. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of ish. I mean, one of the things uh, is uh, magicians had set up this this battle line in the wrong place. I mean, uh, Jerry Seinfeld once said that all magic was, here's a quarter, now it's gone, you're a jerk, now it's back, you're an idiot, show's over. <laughs> and we did not want to have that kind of battle line drawn there. So our way of showing that we had a different point of view was to give away some of the secrets. And we gave away secrets we created ourselves, and uh, we always left it with, with more mystery in the end. But uh, on the way there, we just kind of say, we're exploring the way we ascertain information. We're not really saying, ha ha, we know this and you don't. Before we go, let's talk about another way that you guys are a lot different, and that is you take on issues in society, issues in the news. Let's play an excerpt of uh, where you take on the, the anti-vaccine movement. In the 1920s, before the diphtheria vaccination was common, there were 13 to 15,000 deaths a year from that disease. If you got it, your chances of dying were about 40%. In 1952, just before the salt vaccine became common, there were about 58,000 cases of polio. If you get unlucky, you might end up permanently disabled or dead. Meningitis, hepatitis A and B, flu, mumps, whooping cough, pneumonia, rotavirus, rubella, smallpox, tetanus, chickenpox. Chickenpox. We have vaccinations against all of them. Which side do you want your child to stand on? So, Penn, where does that kind of stuff fit into your well, act? Well, that show was called BS, and uh, part of the idea of that was to use uh, a few of the skills that we learned to lie to people to point out how they were being lied to. 
and uh, it was really fun. I mean, we did we did uh, BS for for eight years, and we had to always position it. I mean, that had to be the anti anti vax thing because we were always coming from the point of view of the negative. But I mean, the 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 anti vax movement is is a horrible horrible dangerous thing. We also did that clip long ago but when the anti vax movement was actually uh, less powerful than it is now. It's a it's it's a heartbreaking thing.